Hey everyone out there in internet land, this is John Acosta of Acosta Productions and today I wanted to answer a very quick question that I've been getting in my inbox uh, continuously for a couple weeks now and I think it's because I used to do this in a lot of my older videos and people have started to catch on and want to know how to do it. So the question was, how do I create a freeze frame in Final Cut Pro 7? Well, uh, it's very simple and I'm going to go ahead and do a quick tutorial just to show you how. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into my Final Cut Pro. So here we are, and I've already set up uh, a clip, a specific clip, that I have here of a buddy of mine, Drew. We drove down Highway 1 in California, and we were having a good time, stopped in Santa Barbara for a picnic at the beach. So here we have him kind of just rocking out, and the camera is circling around him. And at, at some point in this video, I want to go ahead and freeze frame, and then do a quick zoom into the, the freeze frame itself, almost like we're stopping time and just kind of zooming in with the music and so forth. I won't go that deep into detail, but what I will do is show you guys how to create that freeze frame. So let's get started. First things first, I'm going to create an end point and an out point. So we'll start here where Drew's turning around. I'm going to hit the letter I for in, and then I'm just going to kind of scrub through my video and eh, whatever. We'll just hit O for out. That's, that's sufficient enough. Okay. Now take this clip, drag it on down into our timeline. Boom. There we have it. And if we scrub through our timeline and the canvas on the right, you're going to see, of course, the clip that we just created out of that parent clip. Okay, at some point I want to freeze time and the space continuum and just see Drew and the palm trees and create a freeze frame out of it. So I'm going to skim through here and I think right there would be cool. Boom. So what I've done is, again, I've scrubbed through my timeline and found exactly what frame I want to freeze frame. And as we see in the canvas on the right, this is the one. This is the kicker. So, the way we do it, you guys ready? Brace yourselves, here it is. We're gonna hold our shift key on our keyboard and then we're gonna hit the letter N as in new frame and boom, lo and behold, in the viewer, it automatically creates a copy of what we see in our canvas instantly in here. Now, if you look in the left corner of this uh, frame as well, you see it, it says 25. That signifies that this is gonna be a 25 second clip, frozen in time, forever for 25 seconds. And the way this actually works is Final Cut has the option right here in Final Cut Pro's user preferences. If you come up here, click on user preferences, and you go to the editing tab right here, you'll see the still slash freeze duration is set on my computer for 20 with a pre-roll of five seconds on my system. By default, I believe it's 10. Um, so that'll probably be what you have on your system unless you've toggled this at all in the past. Uh, and you can play with it all you want to. Mine's 20 for just different reasons in the past I've edited and needed longer freeze frames, whatever. Okay, so now that we've hit, sh again, shift and the letter N, we've created a freeze frame in our viewer, and all we have to do at this point is drag and drop that right to where the playhead is. It'll snap together and voila, when I let go, it automatically is hanging out now in my timeline. So if we watch the video real quick, you'll see that Drew is hanging out and boom, he all of a sudden gets frozen in time and he's gonna hang there for 20 seconds. At this point, we can double click on this freeze frame that we've created right here. Again, it'll load up into our uh, viewer and we know that because right here in our timeline, or I'm sorry, in our viewer, we have these double dots. And that signifies that that is actually referencing the clip that's sitting right here in our timeline. From here, we can go into motion and play with the parameters of the basic motion. We can slowly keyframe zooming into Drew, we can rotate, we can go crazy, we can go wild, we can go nuts, we can do whatever we want to. We can even add effects, make it go black and white with a crossfade, so forth and so on. Very cool stuff. I hope that helps out a little bit, guys. Again, that's letter shift and in, that's the shortcut at least, which will automatically create a freeze frame in the middle of your video and then you can jump to another clip or you can do uh, some crazy awesome effects on the uh, freeze frame itself. All right, guys, hope that helped out. This is John Acosta from Acosta Productions, and um, take it easy.